Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Steve Benoon, you're watching Israeli News Live, and we'll be getting more in-depth tomorrow night, guys, with our news broadcast on the road again here, uh, And but I wanted to give you a quick update. There are some things that we are watching very closely as over in Libya. In fact, according to the Libyan uh, uh, official uh, Twitter page, the Libyan uh, uh, national government there, they're saying that they have proof that the Turkish government is actually backing ISIS inside of their country. They said they actually have documentation that can that they can prove that uh, that has been uh, leaked that they have a hold of that uh, Turkey is backing ISIS. And uh, we do need to make one correction as well because the uh, the Libyan government's forces that are fighting against Haftar. Um, we had said the other day that they had posted their videos that I shared with you that this was actually U.S. forces helping the Libyan government. I do stand corrected on that because on their Twitter page, which I'll show you tomorrow night, uh, no, it was, it's the other way around. It is the United States government is backing Haftar, just like what we're hearing about that the Russians are doing. That Putin is also backing the same uh, uh, regime there. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to determine who's who, what's what, what's going on over there in Libya, trying to get a better handle on that. And also we're watching closely what's happening over in De Azor, uh, Syria, the eastern part of the Syrian uh, province there. There's also accusations swirling uh, from the Syrian people there that the United States is also supporting ISIS terrorists uh, in that re realm, uh, re region of the world as well. So we'll be covering more of this tomorrow night here on Israeli News Live. Erev Tov, in a world of Ain Shalom, there is no peace. Uh, and uh, we are watching, too, these uh, different terrorist attacks that are happening or hate crimes, as it's been called by the president against the synagogue. I believe also someone just mentioned to me that there was a church that had been attacked as well. Christians shot and killed as well as I think about nine were wounded at this church there. They're calling these things hate crimes. And, uh, and, and uh, no doubt, agreeably, I agree that there are, it is uh, hate that people, when they do these type of things here, but I'm also very cautiously watching these events here too, because they're looking for every excuse they can to disarm this nation. I'm Steve Benin with Israeli News Live in a world of Ain Shalom.